Okay, so it's been a million years since uh, we've done a uh, a tomb fork, but uh, I kind of actually like getting my tomb forks basically from Yield Wolf. So you know, okay, I mean it kind of worked for me, I guess. So uh, Yield Wolf put this guy out there. I seem to have a lot of links. Yeah, that's a lot actually. So this is a very new. Uh, project it came out I guess two three days ago this is the base pig token honey uh, chart and this is the share token chart for uh, honey shares so it looks pretty good uh, I think they must have done a stealth launch because there's no Genesis pool so there's a very low circulating supply so because it's this low 3746 I guess it's okay if the inflation rate is like typical 4%. I mean we're just going to have to actually look at the documentation. God, we have so many links open. This is another reason why I kind of like covering two forks anyway cuz I'm just too lazy to open up all the links. Of course I'll still do it anyway, but uh so that so their claim to fame of course is like they're doing NFTs. So you know yeah, they, so they did no stealth launch. So it looks like they were planning one, and then they changed their mind. Okay, tokens. So this is over 12 months. Great. Very good. Um, let's see if we can find out. They very renounced everything. Okay. Uh, community fund. You're going to make me figure out. Okay, so this is just their roadmap. All right, so then I make me figure out if where is yeah. So they have everything planned out supposedly for NFT games. I mean, everyone always says that. Uh, so obviously, I always call BS on it. However, I do like this. All right, if you can do NFTs. I need to see this. All right, it's just like Web three. All right, I need to see. I need to see that you actually have artists. So these look very good. Uh, obviously, even if you're paying someone to do this, obviously they, they do very good work, and there's a lot of these. So this actually does look pretty promising. It'll be kind of ironic that after I finally have burned down on Tomb Forks, the one actual project that makes it is this one, and then I pass on it. It's like there's just no justice in this world. Uh, I don't know, uh, but whatever. All right, so anyway, the, 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 this thing is obviously stealth launch. The numbers are very low in terms of circulating supply, so the prices are very high. Uh, with that being said, let's take a look at uh, Smart APR system. I mean, I'm just going to have to try to figure this out. Okay, so... Okay, so I think they kind of do... I don't know if they're using the smart APR system because this has a lower TVL and a higher APR. The problem is this has more TVL and a lower APR, and it does look like it could be the same because 50%. Yeah, so they may not be using the smart APR system. So that's, uh, or at least they're using even shares. So it's kind of interesting. Everyone's actually doing the shares right now. So I find that kind of interesting. Uh, here's their boardroom. Uh, current, let's see if we can find what the current epoch is. It is 11. So they've been around for a while. Maybe their inflation rate's pretty low. Uh, I don't know because their documentation wasn't all that great. Uh, well, I guess they're still getting things up. But aside from that, I mean, this definitely looks all right. I mean, they have like a little under 400,000. But the most important part of this tomb fork really is this. Paint Swap Finance Marketplace Collections. That's what this link takes me to. Hi for. And here are the NFTs for sale. Oh, okay. So they have a shit ton of NFTs for sale. So, yeah. This is actually a legit tomb for. So even if they may not be using a smart APR system, maybe it won't matter. Wow, they... What the fuck? Did they make all of these? I, I think I uh, overloaded it because there's no way they made this many, right? There's like 300 plus. Oh, 
the Hive War is a board game. In this game, the players roll a dice to move around the game board. Players need to collect rent from their opponents with the goal to drive their opponents into bankruptcy. Well, that sounds like a very fun, uh, <laughs> fun thing. Um, let me look at their sales. They said the last one was sold 11 hours ago. Oh, it tells me right here, 906 NFTs are already out there. Uh, how many are for sale? 50 are for sale. Uh, you can buy some of these for really cheap, too. These are actually really cheap. Okay. All right, so I think they, they've established that they are an actual, real... Fuck, I have to invest my money into this, don't I? jeez. Ah, well, I did pull profits, so I could take the money from that and put it into this, and then just put it into Yield Wolf. Ah, uh, oh, shit. I'm gonna regret this probably, but yeah, I I'll, I'll invest in it. God, that's just my luck. It's just I gotta do more work now. Yeah, but with that being said, I mean, Tomb Forks really are getting kind of hammered, so you know I need some high standards. And funny enough, this project meets uh, meets that criteria, believe it or not. Because again, because they they because everyone talks a lot of stuff like, oh, I do this, I do that. Well, I need to actually see proof that you do it, right? Well, this tells me, uh, tells this, this right here tells me everything I need to know. Because out of 906 NFTs, only 50 of them are for sale, which would imply that all the others are owned by someone. So, um, yeah. And then, I mean, they changed the graphics, you know, because you could basically tell it's the same kind of, like, base skeleton, I guess you want to call it that. But whatever, they put a lot of effort into making it look different, and there's, like, 906 different looking NFTs. I don't, I probably don't plan on playing the game, I just want to make money. But obviously, someone has to make a game, and that matters a lot. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm willing to put in a little bit of throwaway money in here, uh, I don't want to say the real number, uh, but okay. All right, that's fine. I mean, eh, who needs to pay rent anyway, right? All right, so anyway, I'm just going to go off of this. Your daily APR is going to be anywhere from 17 to 25%. I'm going to actually write in the YouTube description, Real NFT Tomb Fork Game Project. This actually looks legit. So, all right. I don't have any, uh, anything new else to say. Obviously, I don't do the boardroom because I don't like being stuck in there. I always want to stay liquid, but I will be investing in this project. Uh, I really, I just don't feel like doing anything, but I mean, you know, I asked God and he finally provides. So, you know, I better not actually be an ungrateful little prick. So, yeah, but whatever it is, the, again, the clear out, this was, this was good enough for me looking at these graphics here. But then I noticed this really colorful looking link, which you can't see because of my stupid camera. But it's this colored link right here. This is what I clicked that takes me to an actual like NFT place. So and some of these some of these NFTs look cheap. I mean $29 or I don't know, what's 29 Phantom worth? Alright, especially at today's prices. Right, right, oops, wrong camera. Alright. Uh, you know, so and of course some of these are not loading because there's just so many graphics to load, so that's that's what's whatever. But anyway, just check it out. 17 to 25 percent APR, daily APR, real Tomb Fork, uh, real NFT project apparently, and was stealth launched. So, so yeah. So that tells me everything I need to know. Good enough, and it's on Yield Wolf, and they already renounced the contracts for these clowns for these three uh, tokens. So good enough. And uh, yeah, price action looks pretty healthy. I kind of don't like that this is actually really high though. So. You know, I do have to be careful that eventually this will go back to peg. Ugh. But that's okay. I mean, you just pull profits every day, and then, of course, you're on yield wolves. So you're automatically compounding throughout the rest of the time. So, you know, I'll take a little... So, in my case, I'll take out... I don't know. I'll, I'll just... I'll figure something out. I don't really care. It's not that bad. I'll just keep growing the LP tokens. That's, that's all. All right. So, check out uh, the high finance. I'm like totally done. I'm like to uh, like I, I I need to eat. I need to exercise. I got to do a bunch of stuff as always. And um I mean it's already 11:23 a.m. and I haven't even watched Jesse Lee Peterson, so Oh, well, that's okay. All right. So, but yeah, this looks really solid. I mean, I really cuz again, I just don't want to invest in any more team forks. But I mean, if I do invest in one, I need to see something significant and the high finance definitely brings that. 
Now I'm hoping they're not a scam and that they're and that they're lying about this NFT stuff. But I mean, I can clearly see that they already have their shit together. Okay, you know what? I just just do dark mode. Oh, that's so much better. This looks so much better. Um, just would be nice if I could get some of these low. What happens if I click one that's blank? Okay, well it shows me a icon of it for some reason it load here. I don't know. It's probably because I'm on Brave. Oh, it just loaded. God. Now I have to do it. I have to do this. I have to do this. There you go. Oh, okay. This looks completely different. Um, all right, cool. I can't believe it. Did someone really design 906? That is insane. See, See, I don't understand NFTs, but I understand... I know one thing for sure. They are extremely effing important. So, yeah. So, I still don't understand NFTs, but I'm happy to put some money into this just to promote the, the, the overall cause of NFTs. And, you know, it's not like I'm getting, doing it for free. You know, I, get, I make really good money. I mean, just, 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 just look at these returns. Now, you could expect these to go down as there's more token supply, and, of course, prices come down to something a little more normal. But, um, but yeah, I'm investing simply because of the NFT. So, all right, now I'm rambling. I'm done for the day. Like, subscribe, share this video around, you know, spread it around. They actually maybe even let the, the high finance people know if they want to help promote this video. But, yeah, I will be investing in this project. I will be adding it to the playlist. Uh, just, again, just be aware that you're going to be investing in something that's far above pay, so don't go too crazy. All right? So maybe that's a lesson for me. <laughs> Um, but with that being said, the strength of this project really is the NFTs. Like everyone claims they have NFTs, but including this project, there's only two that I know that have NFTs. This one, the high finance, and Web3. And how well is Web3 doing? Yeah. All right. For all of you who got in on that, even when it seemed expensive at the time, including me, I still put it in. All right. Now I'm enjoying that Web3 cash. Not a lot, but. You know, it's got a high APY, so I'm just going to It's basically literally set and forget mode, right? So, all right, well, I wish the high finance people a lot of luck. Uh, obviously, they'll need to expand their team eventually because they all have a Discord and Twitter. Uh, with a vision of developing an NFT and metaverse, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, they have the NFTs. That's, that's already a lot of the work. So now they just got to get the, I guess, their board game going. I guess if they don't get their board game going, then it's going to be over. Uh, but, I mean, again, you just limit how much you invest. So, anyway, I'll put some money in. I'll figure out how much to put in. But, yeah, I'll add this to the playlist. This looks good. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it does not use the smart APR system, so that is one technical downside, but I think that's made up for with the NFT system. So we'll see how it goes. And of course, you know, low, low starting token supplies. So that should kind of keep prices doing okay for a while. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. I don't know. We got like a million things to. Well, I actually have. Well, Outback Finance may not be out, so let's so say we got Medusa Protocol and Gates of Heaven, which are from Yada Crypto, and then I'm out. So I'll just fish uh, the YouTube subscriptions for more content ideas. I'm pretty sure Yada Crypto has already found like 50 new projects, too. So, All right, enjoy the rest of your day or night. Again, thank you to all new people coming into this YouTube. Make sure you uh, spread this channel around. You know, we want to help everybody out, just not you and me. Because, you know, for whatever is coming, you know, I think it would just be better if we all are uh, helping each other out rather than, you know, say, behaving like Titano people where, like, they're, they're like, Titano is going to die because of their behavior. And that's the only reason, all right? And because they're angry, they're not even working on Titano play. It's like, it, it's so obvious to me. It's like, now will Titano just go to zero? I don't know. There's a possibility, but... I don't know, they're still the original, whatever. I mean, I don't even have to care that much. I mean, I'm in Sphere, so whatever, right? All right, anyway, check out uh, the Hive. If you're a little worried about the price, and I'll end it on this, you maybe you could wait a day or two, right? If you're a little worried about it, but I'm just going to put in a small amount. Come to the, I don't even, yeah, I'll just put in, I'll, I'll, put, I'll just put in something small. You know, it'll be nice and safe, and I'll DC into this if, uh, you know, whatever, yeah. But yeah, looks really, really good. I, I really like this. I really like this. All right, thanks.
see you all tomorrow.